Final Fantasy comes to Nintendo Switch. Koopo! The September Nintendo Direct went live today and it had some pretty big news for Final Fantasy fans. Let's get into what was announced and how I'm feeling about it. So hey guys, it's Sun for Games, bringing you a healthy mix of videos on new releases and MMOs, and nostalgia trips to the classics that made us fall in love with games in the first place. And for the first time in forever, I feel the need for some Hunt for Game news, because Final Fantasy is back in the spotlight. Not only with the announcement of Final Fantasy XI Zillard favorites coming to Dissidia Final Fantasy NT, which is awesome, it's just toying with my emotions on what a remastered Final Fantasy XI could look like, but also with today's Nintendo Direct, finally getting some Final Fantasy presence on the Switch in a big way. Earlier this week, a Final Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Remaster was announced for PS4 and Nintendo Switch. Originally released on the GameCube many years ago, it was a very different type of Final Fantasy game, offering a multiplayer action RPG experience. Due to its limited release on that console only, and strange kind of approach to multiplayer with, I think it had like Game Boy Advance control system or something? Regardless, I'm sure plenty, including myself, didn't get to fully appreciate it, so I'm pumped to see it come back in the spotlight on a modern system. This apparently though was just the beginning, priming us for today's Nintendo Direct. So let's go down the list. Final Fantasy XV Pocket Edition HD, which is kind of hilarious in a way. I mean, I, I know what they're saying, but it makes me think of like Final Fantasy XV, low quality, high quality, which is just, doesn't that balance out to just Final Fantasy XV? But it's not. It's the HD version of the Pocket Edition mobile release, and it's available today, which is pretty cool if you were into that. I've heard it's pretty good. World of Final Fantasy Maxima, a new release of the World of Final Fantasy game, is releasing in November. It offers a new avatar change function that wasn't available in the original release. I never got a chance to check this one out when it first came out, so this could maybe be my shot. Final Fantasy Fables Chocobo Mystery Dungeon is also coming to the Switch. I think this is also a remaster of a 2007 game, but I totally missed that one. The big news though, at least for me, was the announcement of Final Fantasy XII The Zodiac Age, which released on PS4 and PC this past year, finally coming to the Switch in 2019. Anyone who's followed me knows my struggle to make real progress in that game, but honestly, that does come a bit from me being locked down to the PS4. I've had far more luck lately getting through RPGs on the Switch, with the pick up and play nature allowing me to hop in and out quickly. It's a great game and this could finally be what I need to really get through it and explore Ivalice to the level it deserves. But we're still not done. Almost as an afterthought, Final Fantasy 7, 9, 10, and 10 2 were announced for some time in the future. They basically took my personal favorites and were like, look, we know you love being able to play these on the Vita, but it wasn't a flawless experience. How about on the Switch? Honestly, I think this will likely put the Switch as my new favorite place to experience Final Fantasy games. If they do well, I wouldn't be surprised to see another re-release of things like Final Fantasy Tactics and the various DS and 3DS releases of the earlier titles. All we need now is for them to port Final Fantasy XI and XIV and I'll just call it my portable Final Fantasy machine. Look, normally I can't stand the thought of rebuying games I've already purchased, and especially repurchased on multiple platforms, but this is just too good to ignore. The Switch allowing me to hop in between a full screen experience and handheld is perfect for classic games I'm itching to revisit, and being able to just shut off the screen mid battle or dungeon and come back in like an hour, you know, without finding a pesky crystal to save at, it, it takes some of that pressure away from enjoying these games in short bursts. I don't have to like leave the PS4 on downstairs or totally lock down my ability to do other stuff Stuff on my PC, you know, it, I can just walk away. So what do you guys think of this news? Obviously, these weren't the only announcements from the Nintendo Direct, which also include Luigi's Mansion 3, a new Animal Crossing, Super Mario Bros. U on the Switch now, and even some badass classic Nintendo controller Joy-Con. But Final Fantasy obviously stuck out for me. Nothing brand new, all remasters and re-releases, but that has certainly been an area where the Switch has shined, and this may be the first chance for many that have owned solely Nintendo consoles to get a look at these classics. Question of the day, what game have you repurchased more than any other? For me, it really might be Final Fantasy XI. I've bought it on everything they've released it on, and I think I even rebought it on PC multiple times for some reason, so that was a good idea. You know, I got like the Steam release as well as the original purchase box version. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts and how it was to revisit some Hunt for Game news. Been waiting for some big stuff to get thrown out, and almost 10 Final Fantasy games being announced simultaneously just felt right. Keep on the lookout for more info on these releases and videos coming up, and check out some of my playlists for more videos on Final Fantasy 11 and 14 if you're into those games as well. Otherwise, I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in more videos like this, think about subscribing. And if you already have, don't forget to click that little bell next to the sub button to get notified when new videos go live. Hit me up in the comments with your thoughts on this video, or come hang out and chat with me on Twitch every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And definitely look me up on Twitter or Instagram at Hunt for Games to keep up with what else I've got going on. See ya!